Try it without first because of your shoes. Mm -hmm. Butt winking going on, you know that? Mm -hmm. You know about butt winking? What butt winking is? Uh, yeah, ask him, Mick. Well, you're, ma you're maintaining a neutral spine. And when you get low, your butt goes like that. Okay. In other words, your spine doesn't go like this. Your butt does. Uh huh. So that I don't want. I don't want you to do that because that's flexing. That's causing some flexion to the vertebrae. I don't want to see. Yeah. Like this? Yes. That's better. That's better. I want to limit your range of motion a little bit. That's better. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, right there. Uh huh. <coughs> I try to go too low. Right, well, for you. Okay. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, keep doing it. Oh, okay, okay, back up. Relax. Do you know what butt winking is? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Butt? Oh. Like this. Yeah, I, I don't know how. You'd be a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I was always a lousy dancer, but I couldn't butt wink, you know, so I got. But it was good for squats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why a girl, sometimes a girl that can move their hips, uh -huh. they have this whip-like action, all kinds of stuff they do, which may be good for strength athletes. Yeah, they, sometimes a girl be good for that. And they teach that. They want you to do that. I'm, usually, I'm doing the, pretty much the opposite of what a power, uh, what a strength athlete okay, would do. It's, it's because I try to go, to go too low. For your specific anatomy at this point in time, going this low, is enough. it might be enough. Your parallel is about right for you. Okay. I don't want that but I don't want the spine to be abnormally stressed, if you will. Okay. And we're trying to avoid it's you know like, where you're locking, you're not doing that, but this is doing it. Uh -huh. okay. Not bad, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, the shoes aren't too bad. They're good. Good. Yes. Okay. I want to take you to great. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. You're also a strong man? He's he just looks he's, like a strong man. He's just a pretty big guy. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good flexibility. Ankle joint flexibility for a big guy, you know? Use your legs. Huh? But what do you think about squatting without shoes? Because you ask me if I squat all the time without shoes. Um, I, I, you know, I, a person with really good ankle flexibility could make it, make it work. But for a person with average ankle flexibility, you almost inadvertently have to use your lower back and have to use your buttocks and, to, and you get more into, into a thrusting movement. Now the thrusting movement might be applauded because you're lifting big iron and doing good reps and people, wow, good job! But we want to innervate the quadriceps and develop the quadriceps, okay? Especially the vastus lateralis. And it, it becomes very difficult to do that when this is the prime mover. Mm -hmm. And the, I find the lower back becomes so tired and so pumped first the quads don't, which leads to many other exercises. I want you to, I'm trying to get you all to do this to where two sets of this and you pretty much can't do anything else. Okay. And, but you know, in other words, to answer your question, I wish I sort of around, in a roundabout way did, I would avoid squatting flat foot. Even though Arnold squatted with no shoes on, mm -hmm. uh, I'd look at him for bicep curls. <laughs> I would look at his bicep curl ability, okay? I mean, uh, back in the old days when him and Draper squatted, they think it was me. It wasn't me back in 1960, I was five years old, okay? It was Draper, Draper had the blonde hair, and they used a little wedge back then, they did. They absolutely, and so when they squatted with a van, tennis shoes, or flat-footed, they used a little wedge. So they, they were on the right track back then, as far as I was concerned, and they had some Olympic, Olympic lifters that, and ex-wrestlers that frequented Gold's gyms back in those days. Um, but Arnold was really a long, lean, tall ectomorph that really wasn't gifted as far as his squatting ability. Where everything else, like back work, bicep work, oh man, this guy's the guy to watch, okay? So I always watch people with good, and I learned about that by watching a guy named Freddie Lowe. I don't know if you remember Freddie Lowe. He was a Michigan champion, Olympic lifter, and he had great quads. I'm like, how come he has great quads and nobody else does? His technique was just like I'm teaching, exactly like I'm teaching. Then I looked at girls in dance class. I was in college and some of the girls had this, the ballerinas had cool looking quads. How do I translate that to the, to the gym? So those are things that taught me to do that. And of course, I, even though I was being trained by Olympic lifters, I noticed the bodybuilders doing some things. So I, I questioned them too. And whenever I did a warm down set, they would say, okay, just do 10, warm down set. I would say, I did 10, can I do 10 more? Do you mind? And I was like, a little, sure, go ahead. You know, and reps became important to me 
but not at the expense of technique. The technique was always right on, and I guess I was, in all honesty, I'm built for the movement. Low center of gravity, muscle attachment sites, flexibility was on point. And when the lifters, they, 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 they told me to go home. They told me to go get a pair of shoes, you know? And I found a pair of shoes. I came to the gym and they're like, you found a pair of lifting shoes. All right, you know, I was 12 years old. And so they had me do a couple of sets and nobody said anything. So I guess I did it right, I guess. And they'd be like, okay, put some weight on that. Okay, go home, and that kind of thing. They're very quiet. And when I, tri when I was learning how to lift, how to train, the radio was off. It was like, this was like, this was give a special honor. This was like the altar. And this is, they almost prayed in front of it. No music, no sound. Technique was everything, and the broomstick, and the you know the understanding of technique. But not one of them would ever dream about squatting without lifting shoes. I wasn't allowed to squat unless I came to the gym with a pair of lifting shoes. If I forgot my lifting shoes. I, I couldn't squat. I wasn't permitted to do it. And I would go home to forget them if I have, if I forgot them. I never forgot them. They're always always you know you don't forget the, it's like forgetting your ice skates when you're going ice skating. You always have your ice skates. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I would avoid at all costs squatting flat footed. Uh, the guys who squatted flat-footed, uh, they had pretty good butts and lower backs, you know. Remember Fred Hatfield? Fred Hatfield's back was so thick, I could put my hand in his lower It was like big, thick. His butt was like this, and he sort of walked like that, too. So, you know, he had, and, but basically, for a strength athlete, or I should say for a power lifter, not a strength athlete. For a power lifter, these were lever arms to allow this to do the work. And this wasn't really the, the, the main prime mover, it was this. Okay. Which is, I'm leading you away from that. And by not squatting, by squatting with flat footed, it leads you towards that. Okay. Not that that's wrong, it's just that's not what I think you're here to do. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 reps. Two. This is better than before. You're better with weight. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Four. Five. Need five more. One. <clears throat> two. I'll just slow the rep down. Three. Four. Five. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, put it back. Okay. You know what I mean? But you ever imagine seeing an M6, uh, M M4 or M5, M6 with cheap tires? Be like, why? Okay, same thing. Why? Okay. You have a big horsepower body, high performance body. You gotta have the good tires and the wheels, man. Okay. Who's next? Two. And one more. Three. Okay, good. Lock it up. Um, the reason I always count by fives. An old power lifter. I could never do high reps. I can manage three to five reps. I was always good at three to five reps. I couldn't manage 20, 30, 40, 50. That's not manageable. I don't, I don't have the mindset to manage that. I wasn't an endurance person. So, but I can do sets of five. So when I do 15 reps, it's five, five, and five. In my mind. Does that make sense? Yes. It's more manageable. Okay. Because it's, he is okay, he is nothing. Um, he's, miss, he's missing hamstrings. Yes. Oh, I have some other things I'm going to do with you later after this. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep doing like you're doing. Hup, rum, three. Hup, rum, two. Hup, rum, three. Hup, rum, four. Hup, rum, five. 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 Hup, rum, one. Go. Come on. Go there. You have to go there. Five. Oh. 27. Woo. Hey, 28. 28. Oh. Hey, two more. Two more reps. 29. Oh. One more rep. One more rep. Oh. Woo. Dig. Oh. Partial rep. Baby, baby rep. Two baby reps first. Put the bar back. Go. Okay. Thank you. That's the kind of step you gotta do. Thank you. Okay. Slow so, uh, Oh, right. Reps. Oh, Reps. 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 Five more, five more. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. That's for the whole of. Don't let me leave him. Guy, guy, come on, guy. 
So fast, you'd never be able to do more reps because you're holding your breath and you're, you're not getting enough oxygen. Okay. I would I would try to do five at a time, but re breathe between reps briefly. Allow yourself to breathe between reps. Rather doing one at a time, you're limited as far as how many you can do. Okay, we'll limit you. Won't be, you should you could be able to. You have the strength to do 30, 35 reps, but not enough oxygen right now. Timing that looser belt. Timing the breathing. See, see this. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, but your strength is magnificent. Your strength technique is right on. That's that's the epitome of leg training. It's exactly what you got to do. Now the breathing, how to really breathe between reps. I usually in, I I would sort of suggest sets of five in your mind within the set, but with, with between every rep, take a breath and learn how to time that. Otherwise, other, that way it will give you more endurance. Okay, but beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, so much. Thank Thank you. Uh, that makes me excited. Okay, it's almost as good as a pretty woman walking down the street. Oh, <laughs> not that good. <laughs> okay, who's next? Me. Oh, come on. One. Uh, two more. Two more. Uh, two more. Uh, <laughs> Come, come, see do it, come. Come, two, Kai three, Rich, come. Two, come. four, two, come. five. Two. Three reps, three more. Come. One, two, two, two. one come. more. Come. Okay, two. put it back, put it back. <laughs> good job, good job. That's what it takes. Sangue. Uh, 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 Welcome to the pain zone. That's about. You're, you're leaning forward and it scares me. You're, you're flexing your spine so much. Is your back feel tight? Yeah, yeah I'm sure it does. <laughs> okay. Your willingness to go there, the audacity to go there, and your willingness to do, do no, no matter what. I love that. I'm in honor of that. That to me is the magical thing that nobody nobody does because there pe people don't want to do that. They're, they're scared of it. You're not scared of nothing. You walk through walls. I get that. If I can get you to your technique lined up a little better, that's the answer. I'll probably, even though you're strong, you can do the reps. I'd work on your technique in lighter weights. I never tried. The shoe. <laughs> I think the shoes yes. is going to be the magic gift from God for you. Okay, I really do. Great job. Great job. Thank you. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> You can do it. There's nothing you can't do. Even though if the technique is, I don't care. Like, I love it, I love it. You know? Wish you were around in the 80s. We were trained together. I wish it true. Alles okay? Super. Yeah. Macht es trotzdem Spaß? Auf jeden Fall. Sehr schön. Hier? Hammer. Geil. Traum. Ja, ja, bitte. Macht es Spaß? Ja, klar. Auf jeden Fall. Ralf? Krass. Wie viele Wochen bist du im Wettkampf? Drei. Drei, ja. Das ist verrückt. Two more, two more. Say yes, two more. Come on. Come on. One more. Drive. Partial reps now, partial reps. Come on. Come on. Take the opportunity. Take the opportunity. Don't let it pass you by. Take it. Ah! Two reps, two more. Go, go. Ah! One. Oh! Put it back. Good. 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 Excellent. Oh. Loosen your belt. Breathe. You gotta breathe. Every rep you gotta most, breathe. Most. You hold your breath. Okay. It's good for one, two reps. Hmm? But then you gotta do more than that. Okay. Great job. Druck vom Gewicht. Thanks for going. Wenn du noch 
Ich habe es gesehen beim Gesicht. Ich habe mich für Einzelwiederholungen so angewöhnt, dass ich mehr Spannung drin habe. Einzelwiederholung hältst du die Luft immer ab. Genau, Sehr genau. Ja. Wiederholungen habe ich schon mal gemacht. Everybody did one set of for hypertrophy, for hyperplasia. This is what it takes. You got to do the reps. The reps are the most difficult thing to do. You can't breathe. You're questioning why you do this in the first place. Everything's telling you to stop. That's when you have five more. Okay? When you think it's all over, when you can't breathe, when you're ready to put it back, when you're, when you're just, when you're thinking that why did you even want to do this in the first place and you have nothing left, you got five more. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great job. Excellent thank job. You. Let's go. To, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for going. Ah, all the way up. Again. All the way up. Higher, higher. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Don't go down. Don't go down. Come back. Fight me. Yes. Harder. Harder. You okay? Push me up. Push me up. More. 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 No, no. Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Up and hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me harder. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Right there. Oh, come on, more. Okay, good. Good. All right. Good job. About four more sets and we'll be about where we need to be. Okay. Good job. Good job. Mama. Lock in. Lock in. Fight me. Fight me. Use your whole body to fight me. Come on, more. 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 Give me more. Give me more. Excellent. Excellent. Fight me more. Fight me more. Fight me more. Strong. You're strong. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't. Excellent job. Okay. You're great. Strong. 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 You have more in you than I thought. A lot more in you. God, it's fantastic. God, no wonder Germany's so great, you know? <laughs> Work ethic, attitude, die, commitment. Die, 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 die <coughs> vor zwei Wochen erst wieder zusammengeschweißt hier. Yeah. I had, I had to weld it because uh, oh, really? it came off, yeah. But uh, do whatever you want, huh? <laughs> heute, ist, heute ist Ausnahmezustand, David. Ja, ist jetzt schon wieder als vorher. <laughs> Two, three, two, come on, four, give me five, five, strong, three more, two reps, two more reps, one, one, one more rep, one more rep, come on, come on, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's what I'm talking about, push me, hold it there, hold it there, Fight me now. Harder. 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 Fight me harder. Fight me harder. Don't give up. Up again. Push me Harder. 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 Okay. okay. All right. Good job. It doesn't have to be three. You just gotta do it. Schmarrn den Klappe. Das ist richtig. Ich will. Ich will. Ich will. Your willingness to do this week after week, month after month, year after year, produces results. You guys are all handling today. Can you do it for months and weeks and years? I hate you. Thank you very much. Same thing as Coach Smith. That's what it takes, man. Nobody wants to do what it takes. That's all. Everybody wants good body, but good legs, but nobody wants to train hard. Doesn't even take big weights. It takes intensity. Intensity is your friend. Intensity is the devil and God put together, you know, you got to do it. You got to go there. You have to go there. If you don't go there, nothing happens in life, you know, nothing. Okay, who's next? Atom. he's asking for the leg extension all day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> me, me, me go yeah, 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 yeah. Five, five more. You make the machine look like a baby. One, two, three, two more. One. And two, it's dead. I find the strecker schlimmer than the knee bone. How old are you? How old are you? What's that? I find the strecker schlimmer than the knee bone. They were nice there. Good greetings in the Gelsenkirche. If the machine breaks down, it's broken. It's broken. Yes, so, in any case. It doesn't have to be pretty. Whatever you can do to move it. Strong. Ah! Five. 
Five. Ah! Six. Ah! Seven. Ah! Come on, more. Eight. Ah! Nine. Ah! Ten. Ah! Give me three more. Three more. Nine. Ah! Two more. Come on. Ah! One more. One more. Go. Ah! Up, up. Ah! Hold it there. Hold it ah! there. Hold it down. Ah! Do not go down. Ah! Do not go down. Ah! Yes, yes. More, more, more. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Great job. You okay? That's good. That's good. Excellent job. Excellent job. See. Okay. Need this time. Is... Need time. <laughs> <laughs> This is what pro bodybuilders don't do anymore. This is what, exactly what pro bodybuilders don't do, don't know how to do, and they're scared of. You guys aren't scared of it at all. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. This will be the new Mecca. Gold's Gym goes away in Venice, California. Germany becomes the new Mecca. Watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Two more. One. <laughs> yes. One more. Two. One. Go. Ah! Hold it there. Hold it ah! there. Don't go ah! down. Ah! Don't go down. Go. Don't ah! go down. Ah! Push me up. Push ah! me up more. Ah! Push me. Ah! That's it. Do that again. Ah! Come. Ah! Ah! No. Everybody did this? Yeah? Okay. I'll do it. So just one, one more exercise I want to do, which is always in my repertoire. Always on quad day I do this. Even though modern day bodybuilders have a different day they do leg biceps, I take advantage of doing the reciprocal innervation, doing leg biceps on quad day. The best time to do it. You can still do the hamstring day, because everybody does a hamstring day and a butt day. If you do this kind of stuff, you probably won't need to, okay? Yes, come on! Get serious! One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, come on now, seven. Pull, 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 harder. Now find the tension point and lock in. Lock in, lock in right there. Don't go down. Use your whole body to make your leg biceps contract. Your whole body, lean up, whatever you gotta do. Fight me now, fight me now. Not hard enough, you're not fighting me hard enough. More, more, more. Pull me up, pull me up. Go, go all the way up again, all the way up, ready? All the way up. <coughs> Right there. Now lock in. Sit up. Lean up. Whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do to make your, your whole body should help your leg bicep. Your back should help your leg bicep. Everything. Don't go down. Don't go down. Fight me harder. Here. Here. Fight me harder. Keep going. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Okay. Good. One sec. But that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me harder. Harder now. 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 Excellent. Great job. Don't let up. Don't let up. Don't let up. More. No, no, not yet. Not right there. Right there. Okay, good. Good job. I don't care about any time factor, but I always, it's always three hours. You can't get this done in 90 minutes. No way. We're only doing one set. We're not even doing three to five sets. Two more. One, two, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, three, three, two more. One, and one more. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Find the tension point, find the tension point and lock in. Lock in right now, right there. Don't go down, don't go down. Use every muscle you can, your whole body to keep it up. Your whole body, more, 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 more. Right there, keep moving, keep moving up, keep moving up, keep moving up, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, good. Fight me, more, more. He's three weeks out of his uh, competition. Really? 
even nicer job. I didn't know you were that close. That close, three weeks. My last. Last leg day. <laughs> Excellent job. Wieder zehn? Er sagt, wir machen Nicht fragen, machen. Two. Show me. Lock in more. Lock in more. More. Fight me harder, harder, harder. Make this work. Come on. Don't just do it. Demand it. Demand it. Demand it. Your whole body. Come on. More. 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 Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, okay. Alles gut. Alles, Alles gut. gut. Ja, klar. Okay. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you Thanks for going. Beautiful Thank stuff. Beautiful stuff. Okay. It's my test. You can walk to the car. You haven't done enough. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. More. 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 Okay. If you're willing to train this hard, and you are. You guys are all willing to go the distance, and you, you are. This is what it takes. This is what it takes. Everybody talks about genetics being the limiting factor, and you have to take GH, and you can't compete with the big guys, and I'm too small, and I'm too weak. There's no such thing as not having enough in you. If you've got enough in your attitude, you can do anything. You gotta go the distance, okay? You gotta go the distance. Thank you all very much for going the distance. I appreciate it. I applaud the fact that you went the distance. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. Makes my heart warm. Warms my heart to see that Germany's like this. No wonder Germany's so good. No wonder this is the powers here. This is the new, this is the new Mecca. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ja, jetzt trainiere ich seit 28 Jahren und hatte noch nie so ein Beintraining. Da sieht man, man lernt nie aus und äh, unbezahlbar diese, diese Erfahrung. Obwohl es vielleicht Wahnsinn ist, so drei Wochen vor dem Wettkampf, aber die Chance, die wollte ich mir nicht entgehen lassen. Geiles Training. Ich kann gerade nicht so viel sagen, aber... Du auch gerade erst dran. War das geilste Beintraining ever. Kann man nicht empfehlen, aber es macht Bock. Nein, auf jeden Fall. Wenn ihr irgendwann mal die Chance haben solltet, sofort. Egal wie weh das tut. Mega geile Erfahrung. Also ich trainiere jetzt seit knapp acht Jahren. Beine schon hart trainiert. Aber das ist einfach, ein, einfach unglaublich. Ganz ehrlich, nur einmal im Leben, dieses Gefühl ist einfach unbeschreiblich, da findet man nicht die passenden Worte dafür. Es ist einfach nur unbeschreiblich, das einmal erlebt zu haben, mit so einer Legende halt, ne? Alte Schule, Oldschool pur. Es ist einfach nur geil. Danke, danke echt. Danke auch an Red One, an David, dass er uns das ermöglicht hat. Einfach nur geil. You're okay? Nobody hurt? Nobody dying? It's great. Now you gotta do it again. <lacht> yeah. Wie war's? Danke. War geil, war auf jeden Fall klasse Zeit. Drei, vier Jahren mein Traum, wo ich das erste Video von Tom Platz gesehen habe, mit ihm mal Beine zu trainieren. War es auf jeden Fall wert, die Reise. Hat mega viel Spaß gemacht. Wenn es nur mal möglich wäre, irgendwann im Leben gern wieder. Hättest du, hättest du, hast du es so erwartet oder was hast du erwartet? Ich habe es so erwartet und habe mich einfach auf die Kniebeugen gefreut. Strecke und Beuge sind nicht meine Freunde, aber die Kniebeugen sind geil. Also jederzeit wieder? Jederzeit wieder. Thank you. And a great fast picture. Oh yes. Oh, bist du auf Sendung? Jetzt bist du auf Sendung. Jetzt ist alles durch, David. Äh, ja, fast. Fazit? Moment, ganz ne? Fast. Ja. Oh, ich bin ganz schön durch. Ähm, Fazit. Ja, super Tag. Ne? Alle sind glücklich. Wir zwei sind erschöpft. Äh, ja, aber alle sind happy hier. Ne? Waren alle super Rückmeldungen bekommen. Und äh, ja, ich, ich, ich bin ja so ein Typ dann, wenn, habe ich ja auch in Frankfurt gesagt, wenn die Leute halt wegen mir irgendwo hinkommen und äh, was erwarten und so, dann hoffe ich, dass halt auch alle glücklich sind, dass alles funktioniert. Und äh, das hat man, glaube ich, Leuten hat, äh, Studio hat gefallen, Training mit Tom hat allen gefallen. Ne? Keine wow. Verletzten. Ne? Das ist auch sagen? gut. It was uh, meaningful, cathartic, uh, exhausting, but it's a good feeling. It's a good, nothing like the end of the day where, you know, you know you couldn't have done any more. <laughs> and it's like, you feel like, okay, my existence has meaning. And I, I some of the guys I trained, you know, today, uh, 
I, I, I think in their mind, you know, they've seen the videos, your videos online. They've been watching and they know the old days. They know the 80s way before they were born. And they've heard my voice. And my voice has been translated and dubbed for other videos. And I, I think when we squat together and they hear my voice, uh, I, I think it takes them as if they're in the video and they're in, you know, the, the, on, inter, on the internet and they're, they're actually taking part in something that happened 30, 40 years ago, uh, the first time. Um, and I think that's a special thing to be able to do as an athlete, to be able to go, like if I could have had the possibility of training uh, with Joe Namath or training with, uh, you know, a famous uh, race car driver, what's, what's his name, uh, famous race car driver. But when you have a chance to participate with someone currently in, in modern day real time that made an impression on you in the past it's almost like you're you, you feel like you're part of that history of it and, and I think I think a lot that's what it is I try to put myself in your in their place in your mm -hmm. place and go, what would it feel like if I was I mean I know what it felt like to train with Arnold or Drake Draper or you know but to train with somebody way before your era and I think it's, it, it brings life to your yeah. training like nothing else can. Uh, and I'm glad to do it now because I, I won't do this forever. I'll do it now. And I'm happy to be here to lend the energy and to give the energy to the next generation. It's, it's what I'm supposed to do. And I, what I think about Germany is that, I mean, the reason, we, we talked about this, the reason we have a career, the reason I have a life is because of the energy that the fans gave me, the energy that the people in Germany gave me. And now... It's like payback, you know, to have 40, 50 years in the business of doing seminars and exhibitions and stopping exhibitions and doing squat clinics and sem motivational seminars. It's like it's, t it's time to give back to an, in to an industry and to the people that gave me and gave us, you know. And when you give back, when you have a gym and you give back, when you go on stage and give back, you get more. So it's like I'm filled up all the time, you know. I'm, I'm, it's, it's hard. It's exhausting, but nothing in life is easy. You know, and when you give of yourself completely, you feel, you feel good about your existence. And I just hope my visit here gave people that energy that they gave me. I, I think it did. I think it did. It's a good thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Das letzte Wort gehört dem Gastgeber. Ja, danke an äh, alle, die da waren. Ich ähm, habe es ja eingangs schon gesagt, eben vor, vom Publikum. Ich, äh, als ich Toms erstmal getroffen habe, äh, I think we met in 2013, the first time. 13? I think 13, yeah. Um, da habe ich mir schon so gedacht, da war, hat, ihn, hat ihn ja keiner mehr auf dem Schirm gehabt, so richtig. Da dachte ich mir, boah, den mal nach Deutschland holen, das wäre immer so was so richtig krass Exklusives. Und ähm, deshalb bin ich dankbar, dass es jetzt geklappt hat, dass ich, ähm, ja, dankbar, dass ich in der Lage bin, durch Leute, die halt das unterstützen und, ja, dafür eben bezahlen, dass ich sowas machen konnte. Ähm, dass auch alles jetzt hier so gepasst hat, also wer es verfolgt hat, die Halle, die wäre vor zwei Tagen noch nicht betretbar gewesen und äh, ja, hier Pavel und Konsorten haben die dann äh, in der hauruck aktion fertiggestellt, damit wir das Seminar machen konnten und äh, alle waren da, Halle war voll, Leute sind glücklich, ähm, richtig geil, also das war so ein, so ein kleiner Traum, den ich mir persönlich für mich erfüllen würde, äh, wollte und wenn jetzt 30 Leute gekommen wären, dann wäre es halt so gewesen, dann hätte ich es mir einfach mal so gegönnt sozusagen, Tom Platz herzuholen und jetzt war es halt ein voller Erfolg, also umso geiler. Ja, ich bin sehr dankbar. <lacht>